Okay, so what we want to do in this video is show how we can find the gradient of the curve y equals x squared plus 5x minus 3 and x equals 3 using uh, the method of first principles. So this problem is often going to be split up into two or three sections. The first part is going to be identifying um, the two points of the chord. So remember in the first video where I introduced this, we had two points. The first point will have x coordinate 3, and so let's say that we've got the point A has x coordinate 3, and its y coordinate will be substituting x into this. So we get 3 squared plus 5 times 3 take away 3. So we get 21. The second coordinate, B, will be a little distance away from that x coordinate of 3, so let's call that h. So we need to find the y coordinate of b. So the y coordinate of b will be substituting 3 plus h into this. So 3 plus h squared plus 5 lots of 3 plus h minus 3. So I want to evaluate this, expand it, because in its current format it's quite, quite a nuisance. <laughs> it's, um, it's not very easy to work with. So, if I do that, then I've got 3 plus h all squared, so I'm going to get h squared plus 6h plus 9. I'm going to get 15 plus 5h from that bracket expanded, and I've got that minus 3 on the end. So finally, I should be able to write b as 3 plus h, comma, h squared, I've got 11h, 9 plus 15 is 24, minus 3 is plus 21. Okay, so this is the coordinate of A, this is the coordinate of B that I want to use. So that would be the first bit done. Now step 2 will be to determine the gradient of the chord AB. So the gradient of the chord AB will be the difference in the y coordinates, so h squared plus 11h plus 21, take away 21, over the difference in the x coordinates, so that's 3 plus h, take away 3. So we've got h squared plus 11h plus 21, take away 21 is h squared plus 11h, and on the bottom we've just got h. So h squared plus 11h divided by h is just h plus 11. So this is the gradient of the chord between a and b. So how can this tell us what the gradient of the tangent is, or the gradient of the curve, at x equals 3? Well, to find it at x equals 3, I want to let h... 10 to 0, so I want the limit of as h tends to 0 of h plus 11, of that gradient of the chord. So as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller, h plus 11 gets closer and closer and closer to just being 11. And so that is the gradient of the curve at x is equal to 3. So you can see the questions often spin up into a part A, B and C. Part A is trying to make sure that you've simplified and found the y coordinate of the second point. And the part B is find the gradient of the chord. And then part C is letting h tend to zero so you can then identify what the gradient of the tangent would be.